Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this video, we are going to discuss about control system. Before going to the topic, please like and subscribe our channel. So, we have some significant words in control system. Those are process, control, measurements and instrumentation. So, let's discuss one by one. What is process? So, a process is a step by step procedure we have to do to achieve the desired output. It is a series of activity in a sequential manner to achieve an desired output. The word desired is very important. What actually I want to get that you have to follow the step by step procedures. So, let us take a layman example. If you want to prepare a cake, you want to prepare a birthday cake for your friend. So, and she or he may like a strawberry flavor and you have to follow the series of procedures. One by one you have to follow to get a perfect strawberry cake. Right. For example, there is a steps. Right. So, for initially you have to mix all the flour in the proper ratio. After that you have to mix it and you have to give some time to settle it down. Later you have to bake the cake pan. You have to heat the cake pan first and after that you have to pour the you know the mix and you have to wait it for some time and later you have to make it cool and you have to you know prepare for the toppings like that. You have series of steps. If you are mix matching all these steps, you cannot get the proper cake. Right. So, this is a simple example for the layman to understand what is the process. So, one by one you have to follow to get the desired output. Output anyone can get. Anyone can bake a cake. But to get the perfect cake, you have to follow the procedures. So, that is called as process. And the next one is a control. When you are baking a cake, you have to monitor the temperature and you have to monitor the ratio of all the ingredients you are adding. So, this monitoring and controlling, right. So, if you are monitoring, you will get to know oh, this is more or this is less, you have to add this, like that you are taking some actions to get the perfect result, right. That is a control and obviously the next term measurements is the quantity how much it have to be that is a measurements and instrumentation is uh, you know focused on a design and configuration of the system so it's a planning so these are the four important words we have to know about control system so let's see about the definition of control system is a combination of various elements connected as a unit to direct or regulate. Obviously, control is nothing but to dictate or regulate, right? So, itself or any other system in order to provide the specific output. This specific output is nothing but a desired output. So, this is called as control system and we have two major types of control system which are open loop control system and closed loop control system. So, as we have already discussed about the example of control system with you know uh, cake baking, I have one more example here which is a four way traffic light control. Obviously, everyone will come across a traffic junction, right? So, it is a simple control system to control a a trans you know uh, you know traffic which is comes under the our uh, you know transport automation in our previous session we have seen the types of automation and in that we have a transport automation and this example will come under that so we will be writing a simple logic to control this four way traffic so first east have to go and there will be a free left and there will be a, a time for people to cross the road and after that south you know uh, the vehicles can move to all the sides so like that at a one time only one side is allowed 
So like that we can write a logic to make a simple control system. Right. So let's move on to the type of control system and uh, the main one is the first one is open loop control system. So what is this open loop control system is you will be giving some input, you will be doing some process and you will be getting some output and whatever the output you have to accept it or you, you cannot have a control over that output. Right. So let's take one more layman example for the better understanding. You are a uh, you know operator of one auditorium and your work is to manage the temperature of the auditorium. I mean let's take the air condition air conditioning is there and you are going to monitor or control the you know the temperature of the old auditorium uh, where uh, 500 people can see it. Okay, so there was a function and uh, you are the operator over there and uh, all uh, 500 people were inside and you are assuming that okay 500 people is there and uh, the auditorium is this much big so this much temperature is fine like that you are you know uh, you have a plan and you have fixed the temperature with uh, maybe let's take one example like uh, yeah uh, maybe around uh, 20 degree okay so the room temperature is 20 degree now and uh, it's a open loop control system like for a how i can define this as a open loop control system means you are setting a temperature to the auditorium and what are what temperature you have set is the final one you will be getting some output like okay you are setting uh, 18 18 or 20 and the output is also 18 or 20 okay but if you see the room you know the room temperature is depends upon how much people is also inside right so you are not getting any uh, details about how many people are inside so you are not getting any information like that just like that you have set one temperature and output came that's it so this is a open loop control system so for example if the population is more and uh, they want uh, you know the temperature has to be bit less but they don't have a source to tell you they don't have access to inform the uh, you know operator to tell that see here this much people are there so we want uh, uh, you know more uh, I mean I mean the less uh, temperature so they, you don't have a feedback over here so that is an open loop control system and whenever you are getting a feedback from the people who is in auditorium and uh, uh, you know you will be getting like uh, this much people are there and uh, we, uh, you know you have to reduce this much uh, uh, you know maybe two or three degrees celsius you can less like that some feedback if you are getting means the output should be the desired one right so this is for the layman the example is for the layman and you can see the input you are giving okay so this is the process these control element and the disturbances open loop system these are all the process actually happening the temperature is increasing or decreasing kind of and you will be getting the output okay so you will be getting the feedback signal see this the output you want is 20 20 degrees celsius okay but the output you are getting is 25 degrees celsius so you will be getting the feedback you will be having an input here as 20 and you will be getting a feedback as 5 degree like 5 degree less is there so you have to reduce or increase a bit like that you will be having some conclusion here you will compare here what i gave what is actually happening so to get what i want what is the feedback signal so according to that feedback signal you can correct you can rectify it to get the desired output so this is actually happening in the industry so all our industrial uh, you know automations are working under a closed loop control system okay so without feedback we cannot get the proper uh, you know um, desired output so i'll just 
uh, you know explain this uh, traffic light also in open loop and closed loop okay so let's take the traffic light is under a open loop so you'll be having a program like uh, first east for east direction 30 seconds south direction 30 seconds west direction 30 seconds and uh, the north is 30 seconds so it will be circulating 30 30 30 30 and again east people will get 30 again south people will be getting 30 this is open loop control system once it is programmed it means programmed okay so imagine there is a less traffic in south and more traffic in north right so south people will you know the people who are in uh, you know waiting for a signal is very less and they can uh, move within 10 seconds so the remaining 20 seconds is a waste of time right so but if you see the north side people are more the vehicles are more and they want and and 30 seconds is not enough so in this case in this case if you are not getting a feedback what will happen 30 30 30 30 seconds you know in the in the in the interval it will be keep on going but if you have a sensor or if you have some you know feedback to get that see north side is traffic is more so you have to increase the time south side is traffic is very less and you have to decrease the time like that if you are getting a feedback means what you will do immediately you will change your program you will increase the time so for north give 60 seconds and for south let reduce to 15 seconds correct now so like that we can take a feedback from the field to get the desired output so this is what we want right what is the requirement of our, what is the need of automation so once we were using a open loop uh, control where it's the output is not that much uh, uh, you know considered okay let it be whatever comes comes like that means open loop is fine but what actually you want means you have to go for the closed loop control system so i hope you have understood uh, you know the basic uh, about control system and its types so i'll meet you in the next session so if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you